Look at that garbage. The land looks very dirty. Meow. Yes, very dirty and very smelly. Yes, kitty. Our land is polluted. This is the destruction or decline in quality of the earth's surface as a result of human actions. This could be include anything from mining to agriculture to building and consequences may be international or un-international. Land pollution includes legacy pollution, illegal dumping and litter. Okay, but what is land anyway? Wait kitty, I'll tell. Land or ground is the solid surface of the earth that is not permanently submerged in water. Ah, I know. About 29% of earth's surface is land consisting of continents and islands. The remaining 71% is covered with water, both fresh water and salt water bodies. Yes, Kitty. And we use land for many purposes. Some of them are recreational, transport, agricultural, residential and commercial. Yes, and land use is the term used to describe the human use of land. It has been defined as the purposes and activities through which people interact with the land and terrestrial ecosystems and as the total of arrangements, activities and inputs that people undertake in a certain land type. It represents the economic and cultural activities that are practiced at a given place. Public and private lands frequently represent very different uses. Yes Kitty, you are correct. And land use involves the management and modification of natural environment or wilderness into built environment such as settlements or semi-natural habitats such as arable fields, pastures and managed woods. And Kitty, did you know that the land used by humans has a long history, first emerging more than 10,000 years ago? No, meow, is that true? Yes, Kitty, and land use is one of the most important drivers of global environmental change. Mm, meow, land use and land management practices have a major impact on natural resources including water, soil, nutrients, plants and animals. Land use information can be used to develop solutions for natural resource management issues such as salinity and water quality. Yes Kitty, you are correct. And it is our duty to protect the land because protecting land offers numerous environmental benefits. Conserving land and open space can provide habitat for native plants and animals and enhance ecosystem services. Meow and forestation, less logging, plant more trees, reduce use of paper, recycle paper products, conservation tillage, contour farming, cover crops, grassed waterways, support forestation organizations, bring awareness to the issues are some things that we can do to protect the land. Yes, exactly. Land conservation can help to protect valuable habitat for living species. And ecosystem services are the benefits that healthy natural ecosystems provide. For example, vegetated land absorbs rainwater and runoff, reduces flooding and soil erosion, and filters water as it permeates the soil. Meow! Yes, yes! The land sustains every aspect of our lives providing fundamental life support systems and the foundation of our economy and society. It is the place we stand and also the place we act. It is where we make decisions that affect not just the land, but also water, oceans, air and atmosphere and the life they support. Yes Kitty, so it is our responsibility to protect our land. Let's go and start cleaning the garbage. Meow. Okay. 
I'll collect the plastic and you can clean the other stuff. Okay, Kitty. Let's go.